New at 6, Rhode Island's largest homeless shelter has far fewer people than it did a year and a half ago. Crossroads Rhode Island says it's because it's found new homes for hundreds of men that were staying there. Iowa News News reporter Sheena Lasciuto joins us now live from the Mobile Newsroom with that story. Sheena. Mike Shannon, in less than two years, Crossroads Rhode Island has helped transition 100 men out of Harrington Hall. Actually, more than that, the organization believes that finding a place to call home is really the right step and getting people on the right path. Robin and Richard now have a place to call home. Doing really good now. Got a place to call. I got my own keys. Yeah, I can turn over into a leaf and start doing positive things. But for years, especially on a gloomy day like this, it was a dark journey. I made some bad choices and I ended up homeless. Both previously battling addiction and the fight of not having anywhere to go. It's rough. The streets are rough. Eventually, Robin and Richard both found themselves at Harrington Hall in Cranston, the state's largest homeless shelter. But now they're just two of more than 170 men. Crossroads has helped move out of the shelter and into homes. One of the programs that has helped us achieve these numbers, frankly, is having some significant um, investment of funds through the state, some federal dollars, some state dollars. The programs help fund people in shelters get back on their feet. Back and relax. No worries. Giving them the key to a brighter tomorrow. The chief operating officer says placing places like Harrington Hall are only meant to be for emergency situations, but people end up staying for a long time, and that's why in the near future they hope to continue this momentum and help more people find a home. Reporting live in Cranston, I'm Sheena Loshido, Eyewitness News.